Hi students, welcome to our online classes. The today class we are going to discuss the important multiple choice questions on VS EPR theory. The first question, which among the following molecule is assigned linear structure? The four options are given, SiO2, next SO2, CO2, the last one is NO2. We first go to SiO2, silicon dioxide, it is also a linear structure, but it is a network solid structure just like diamond and graphite. So it somewhat is not a perfectly linear structure, it is slightly bent. Next we go to the option B, SO2, sulfur dioxide. It has three bond pairs and one lone pair. Due to three electron pair, it has trigonal planar geometry. Due to the presence of one lone pair, the geometry gets distorted and it is a V-shaped structure. Then we go to the third option, carbon dioxide CO2. It has equivalent sp hybridization in opposite directions. So it has linear structure. So the option C is a correct option. Anyhow, the last one, the option D, NO2. NO2 has one lone pair at the center. The nitrogen and one oxygen are bonded through a double bond and that counts as one electron pair and another oxygen with a single bond so totally three electron pair so the geometry is trigonal planar so the final option is CO2C the option C is the correct option then the next question is question number two what is the shape of sulfate ion the four options are A tetrahedral B square planar, C hexagonal, D trigonal bipyramidal. So after this, which one is the correct option? We have to see. Actually, the sulphate ion it has four bond pairs and sp3 hybridized. So its bond angle will be 109 degree, 109.5 degree. So the molecule is tetrahedral structure. So the option A is the correct option. So the shape of the sulphate ion is tetrahedral. The, a, the option A is a correct. The next question, question number 3, predict which one is non-linear molecule? Option A, HCN, option B, CO2, option C, H2O, option D, C2H2. So here four options are given. Here HCN, CO2 and C2O2, hydrogen cyanide, carbon dioxide and acetylene, all are linear molecule with the sp hybridization. So only H2O is sp3 hybridized with two lone pairs, so it is a tetrahedral, so it is non-linear molecule. So the option C is correct option. Then the fourth question, which among the following is a tetrahedral structure? The option A, K4FeCN6, option B, NH4+, plus, option C, NiCN4, 2-, minus, option D, NH3. The first option, that is K4FeCN6, it has 6 ligands surrounded by central metal ion and it is D2 sp3 hybridized. So, it has an octahedral structure. So, it is not a tetrahedral, it is an octahedral structure. The next one is the uh, option B, NH4 plus has four bond pairs and it assigned the tetrahedral structure. So the option B may be a correct option. And here the option C uh, is a square planar geometry with the DSP2 hybridization. And the fourth one, ammonia, NH3 is a trigonal pyramidal structure since it has three bond pairs and one lone pair. Uh, it is, so the correct option is B, B is a correct option. Then the next question 5, which one of the following molecule is trigonal bipyramidal? The option A, CH4, option B, BF3, option C, SF6, option D, PCL5. The option A, CH4, this is methane, is sp3 hybridized central atom, so it is a tetrahedral structure. The option B, BF3, is sp2 hybridized with three bonding pairs, so its shape is trigonal planar. 
then the option c sf6 has six bond pairs and no lone pairs so it is octahedral structure the last option d pcl5 has five bond pairs no lone pairs so its shape is trigonal bipyramidal so the option d is a correct option then the question number 6 which is a t shaped molecule there are four options option a ccl4 option b clf3 option c chcl3 option d pcl5 ccl4 option a ccl4 has four bond pairs and a no lone pair and sp3 hybridized central atom so its shape is tetrahedral option b clf3 has three bond pair and two lone pairs so it is a t shaped molecule so the option b is a correct option and here the option c ch cl3 it is also sp3 hybridized and tetrahedral shape and fourth option d pcl5 is a trigonal bipyramidal as we have seen in the earlier question 5 so the correct option is a option b the question number 7 the geometry of the molecule with 50 percentage s character in hybrid orbital is four options option a octahedral option b tetrahedral option c linear option d square pyramidal so the option a and the actually octahedral actually the the contribution of s orbital to the total contribution is only 16 percent because the d2 sp3 or sp3 d2 So the out of total contribution of all orbitals, the yes will have only the sixteen percentage. So this is a wrong option. How do you go for the option B, tetrahedral? The tetrahedral means is sp three. So the yes will have one fourth of the total contribution. So only it is a twenty three percentage of s character. Then we go for the option C, linear. Is it is sp hybridization? So the equal contribution, fifty fifty contribution. So now the s character is a fifty percentage. for sp hybridization so for the linear shape so the option c is a correct option and also d option is also uh, yeah, around only 20 percentage so the option c is a correct option the next question question number 8 which of the following molecule is planar the options are a sf4 b nf3 c sif4 d xcf4 SF4, there is one lone pair is present, so its shape is distorted tetrahedral. And NF3 has three bond pairs and one lone pair, so it has pyramidal shape. And SIF4 is a is with four bond pairs and no lone pair, assumes tetrahedral shape. So the last one is xenon tetrafluoride. It is a sp3 D2 hybridized molecule. Only four orbital overlap with four of atom to form a four covalent bonds. The remaining two orbitals contain in two lone pairs, which oriented at the axial positions opposite to each other. So the final geometry is a square planar. So the option D, xenon tetrafluoride, is the correct option. The question number nine: For which of the following molecules the bond angles are 109 degree 28 minutes? The options are A chloromethane B carbon tetrachloride C hydroform D chloroform The chloromethane hydroform and chloroform are tetrahedral shape but all bonds are not equivalent so they are not regular tetrahedron The only option B carbon tetrachloride CCl4 is a regular tetrahedron with the sp3 hybridized carbon atom and all bonds are equal So the regular tetrahedron is the only carbon tetrachloride. So the option B is the correct option. Question number ten: The angle between the one s orbital and one p orbital will be option A, one twenty degree; option B, one not nine degree twenty eight minutes; option C, one eighty degree; option D, sixty degree. As S orbital will always go for sigma bonding and direct overlapping with p orbital so it is a linear interaction between the two orbitals that make the bond angle 180 degree so the option c is a correct option 180 degree is a correct option the next question 11 what is the type of hybridization assigned to equilateral shape 
ऑप्शन ए एस पी हाइब्रेशन ऑप्शन बी डी एस पी थ्री हाइब्रेशन ऑप्शन सी एस पी टू हाइब्रेशन ऑप्शन डी एस पी थ्री हाइब्रेशन एक्चुअली द इक्वल सेफ इज नथिंग बट द ट्राइगनल सेफ विच अस्यूम्स एस पी टू हाइब्रेशन सो द ऑप्शन सी इज अ करेक्ट ऑप्शन द लास्ट क्वेश्चन ट्वेल्व विच मॉलिक्यूल एज हाइएस्ट बाउंड एंगल The options are A H two O, option B C H four, option C I C L two minus, option D C L three. Actually, the option A H two is a bent shape or V shape molecule due to two lone pairs and the bond angle is slightly less than under nine point five degree. The option B methane C H four is regular tetrahedron with under nine point five degree bond angle. The option C I C L two minus has three lone pairs. Which form a triangle shape, tri triangle shape, and two chlorine atom, uh, one position at both are position at oxyl positions opposite to each other. So the bonds are linear and bond angle is 180 degree. And the fourth option is the CLF3 is a T-shaped. So the bond angle is around 90 degree. So after four, the highest angle is assigned to the option C is 180 degree. So the correct option is C, ICL2 minus. Thank you for watching please subscribe my channel and share to your friends thank you